For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. God is a God of love and mercy and grace and forgiveness. He doesn't want you to die. He doesn't want you to go to judgment. He doesn't want you to go to hell. And God says, because of the cross, I will forgive you. I can place you before me as though you've never committed a sin. What a wonderful thing to look at. It's been more than 40 years now. That night at the stadium is just as clear as if it were last night. I heard his message, and when they sang, Just As I Am, <laughs> my feet just started walking. Now, I've heard about him all my life. I've seen him several times on TV. How long has he been doing this? Since way back in the 40s. Isn't that amazing? Why did so many people from all over the world come here and preach? Because he took the gospel, just like the Bible says, to the ends of the earth, even to places where the gospel has been forbidden. But that's a good question. Why did so many people come to see him? Let me tell you. Today, regardless of their beliefs, people wonder how God used an ordinary man to inspire millions to respond to the message of the gospel. There is only one person that can send revival, and that is the Holy Spirit. And we are here to honor and glorify only one person, and that is the man of the glory, Jesus Christ. What were his roots, and how did God shaped his life for this special task and how could he have achieved so much in just one lifetime but god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son Jesus. and for almost 60 years god led millions into arenas and amphitheaters stadiums plazas and parks around the world all hoping to satisfy their deepest spiritual yearnings in billy's powerful and compelling message they were not disappointed he tells us to walk not by feeling, but by faith. And said, when you don't feel anything, God may be closer to you then than ever before. William Franklin Graham stepped onto the world stage and with God's grace and guidance, began to preach the good news of the gospel. We love our fellow man as God loves us. Coming to prominence in the mid 20th century, Billy Graham was among the first to understand the power of the media for evangelism and harness that power to reach almost every corner of the world on radio and television with the message of salvation. We have not come to put on a show on entertainment. We believe that there are many people here tonight that have hungry hearts. You can find everything that you've been searching for in Christ. The high and powerful sought his wisdom and company. He counseled the eleven U.S. presidents. Yet he took the time to kneel and pray with the war-torn and weary, with the weak and downtrodden. When repressive countries were closed to foreigners, Billy Graham was invited to break through the Iron Curtain and preached the gospel to millions of the spiritually starved in communist Europe. Through God's messenger, the word resonated with millions from the meek to the mighty. Through times of despair, through war, civil strife, and racial violence, Billy stood tall, healing emotional wounds, speaking out with love against injustice, and promoting reconciliation. And don't let anybody ever tell you that it's quite a lie. Christ belongs to all people. And he led the nation in grieving over tragedy and loss. My prayer today is that we will feel the loving arms of God wrapped around us and will know in our hearts they will never forsake us as we trust in him. May God bless you all. Have you received it? The Apostle Paul wrote that God has called some to be evangelists so that the body of 
Christ may be built up. Throughout the history of the Christian Church, many have responded to that divine call. I've never known a man to receive Christ and never regret it. Over the centuries, those who have answered the invitations of evangelists to commit themselves to Christ have had their lives transformed. And Christ came into his heart, and he had found the fulfillment and the peace and the joy. He found the purpose and the meaning of his life when he had that encounter with Christ. You can have that same experience with Christ tonight. And now, we invite you to join us on a journey of faith, a journey to discover how God called and guided a farmer's son named Billy Graham to become evangelist to the world.